Hey, what's going on guys, Darius here, and welcome to a new video. And in this video, I will be showing you how to set up a GIF as a desktop background. Now, I'm not sure if this is supported on a Mac, but I know for a fact that using third-party software, I can use it on Windows. And we're also gonna be looking on how to do this on your Android phone. And I don't have an iPhone, sorry, so I'm just gonna use Android for now. And we're gonna be using a software called Deskscapes. So it's uh, this one here, and there are a lot of free programs out there, okay? But uh, they're not really good, they're outdated, and uh, Deskscapes is pretty awesome. It has a 30-day trial though, so in one month, I suppose you can make 10 bucks to buy uh, Deskscapes. The first thing that you're gonna need to do, you know, after you uh, work with Magic Morph or I don't know, whatever uh, GIF programs you have uh, and made your GIF just like this, and uh, you want to set it as a wallpaper, then you're gonna have to convert it into an AVI since Deskscapes, after you've installed it and all, uh, you can uh, add AVIs as Windows background. So if I right click here, you know, after I installed Deskscapes, I can click on configure and uh, I can add folders by clicking on this icon here on the upper left and I can click on add remove folders and you know just make a folder exclusively with AVIs that you converted from uh, GIFs okay so you're gonna add that folder and uh, and your converted AVI will uh, your converted GIF to AVI will appear here in the list so if you want to convert a GIF to an AVI you can use this uh, website here onlineconvert.com I will post a link directly to the string that you need to convert to AVI in the description, so make sure to check that out. Um, you're gonna go here and drag your GIF image onto the choose file button or either click on the choose file button and just load the GIF. I just like to drag things directly on the button, it works faster. And click on convert and when, once it's done converting, it's gonna upload, uh, it's gonna download your video, your AVI video uh, immediately and you're gonna put it in the folder that you created exclusively for AVIs. So I'm gonna right click here and then you're gonna go to configure desktops, look for your video, click here and apply to all my monitors, monitor one, monitor two, I have two monitors, so that's why it has applied to all my monitors here. Or as a screensaver, that's pretty cool. Uh, the only downside of this that I found is that I can't move my icons. So see, if I click and drag them, I can't move them at all, which is kind of a bummer. You know, I think, I, I thought they would have, uh, you know, kind of discussed this problem and fixed it by now, but I don't know. Uh, maybe they will do something about it in the near future. But in the meantime, make sure to just uh, stop your desktop background, replace it with something else, and move your icons around, and you're good to go. You can apply the video again as a desktop background. So how do we do this on your phone? Because you maybe made some awesome GIF, like I made this glorious person here, um, with his hair and his eyes and mustache and everything moving around with the magic morph. If you want to check out how I did this moving still image, then check out the description for the video. And if I want to apply this, as an Android wallpaper, I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so uh, here it is in all its glory, the GIF animation that I showed you before, all applied on my uh, Android phone background, and it's moving and all, everything, it's not even lagging my device, which is pretty good. I'm using a Samsung J5 at the moment, so uh, that's my phone. And what you need to do is to go here uh, to your Play Store, you know, and search for this app called Anim GIF uh, Live Wallpaper 2. And once you open it, uh, then you can click on it and you can click on settings over here and you can set up uh, and select your GIF file. So transfer GIF files on your phone or download it from some website, I don't know. And click on select GIF files, okay? And here I have the bearded guy and a piece from George Redhawk, which I've been using as a wallpaper. I can also set up multiple wallpapers to switch at a time interval that I can set up myself. But I'm just gonna choose the guy with the beard, obviously, because I like him and I'm gonna wanna keep him in the background. There's many more options in this app, but uh, I it was really quick for me. I It was super quick, just, uh, like I, I disable a few things like double tap change. If I double tap on the wallpaper, it will uh, switch to the next GIF in the queue. 
but uh, I'm not gonna do that I just disabled that and I just kept this and I clicked on set wallpaper and it was done that's my wallpaper here and uh, yeah this is pretty cool pretty easy it's too bad that you can't do it natively in Windows and in your Android phone but people are smart and we always find a uh, workaround. So thank you very much for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe, like the video if you liked it and uh, comment. If you have any questions or problems, feel free to write in the description and tell me about them. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.